and share every setting sun. I wanna share my hopes and dreams and build my life at home. I give anything I have to give. Okay, go. Girls, go. Together, go. A little faster. Put your flowers. Go. Yep, go. Drop your petals. Okay, go. Girls, go. Together, go. A little faster. Put your flowers. Go. Yep, go. Drop your petals. together in a moment of prayer. Gracious God, spirit of life and love, we ask all blessings upon Noah and Tim in their life together. May they be blessed with patience to see them through times of tension or conflict. May they be blessed with kindness to enable them to nurture and care for one another in times of pain or sorrow. May they be blessed with a spirit of play and joyfulness that they may participate fully in the beauties and pleasures of creation. May they be blessed finally with the knowledge of the ever-flowing presence of love in the world, that they may be channels of this love to one another and to all whom they meet in their life's journey. Amen. And you may be seated. And of course, blonde. It turns out that as Noah was arriving for driver's ed behind the wheel class, there was someone standing there with his back to him. And it was this cute blonde. And now he stands, or she stands here before him. Tiff, you told me that you were attracted to Noah's confidence in life and on the basketball court. You said you liked that he was good at sports because it was something you had in common and that he was incredibly easy to talk to. I asked you each to share words that described each other. Noah said that Tiff is caring, loving, spontaneous, motivated, and keeps her eye on the prize. Hence the small army of animals that have joined the family. Tiff, you told me that Noah is hardworking, and he's grounded, he's realistic, he's patient. 
hence the allowing of the small army of animals that have joined your family. <laughs> he's understanding and resourceful, and he's incredibly forgetful at times. You're right, some of them did nod. They told me people would nod when I said he was forgetful. Now, because these two are very, very strong individuals, they decided to change the rules on me. And Noah wanted me to tell each and every one of you that he is determined. And Tiff wanted you all to know that she is clean and organized. I told you I would put it in there. Tiff knew that Noah was the one when one day she had a baby calf die. She had gotten the phone call. It was incredibly cold outside. And Noah went and started to dig a grave. Now what they didn't know is that Tiff's dad had already taken care of that. But Tiff realized at that moment that no other person that she had been with would have done that for her and decided he was pretty special. Noah knew that Tiff was the one when one day they were goofing around and somehow she almost managed to hit her head on a brick fireplace and he decided he didn't want to lose her. So he knew that. Both of me, both of you shared with me that your relationship is incredibly spontaneous, fun, reliable, safe, grounding, and exciting all at the same time. You said it's hopeful and goofy, complimentary, and unpredictable. Now I have to admit, I found some humor in one of the readings that you chose. You see, in Ruth, you hear the phrase, where you die, I will die. And going back to driver's ed, I learned that Tiff tried to kill both of them. <laughs> Apparently, Tiff has issues with the concept of left and right. To the point that you wore two different colored shoelaces so that you could ask people, do I use this color shoelace or that one for your left or your right? Tiff was told to take a left hand turn. Oh, Tiff was told to take a right hand turn and instead pulled in front of a truck to take a left, luckily being saved by the driver's ed teacher. Little did they know that she was taking that scripture to heart. Where you die, I will die. Already at that time. But in all seriousness though, the scripture that you chose today focuses on devotion, forgiveness, and love for God and for each other. They're powerful readings. In that Ruth reading, we hear about devotion and sticking together and being one. Yes, you will still be known, you will still be true, but you are one. In the Colossians reading, we hear that amazing list of attributes. Compassion, kindness, humility, meekness, and patience. All of these will make your marriage better. And if you do these in love, that leads to forgiveness. Marriage can be hard sometimes, but all of these qualities will help you through those times. Be grateful for each other. Be grateful for your similarities. Be grateful for your differences. And then in the reading from 1 John, it's about truth and love. These go together. And it happens through our obedience to God and to one another. You see, we're called to love each other in good times and in bad. And I beg you to remember that on those days that are tougher. On the days that you just want to throw in the towel. On the days that you are struggling to find the good qualities that you listed earlier. The scripture you've chosen reflects you as individuals, as a couple, and shows your commitment to each other, your families, and to God. Remember that you are not alone in this relationship. I made them say it twice, that they will help. Remember that you're surrounded by those that you love, that you are surrounded and joined in this relationship with God. Your marriage, as I said, will be frustrating at times, but it will also be happy, strong, loving, filled with joy, 
I would like to invite Kia forward. my girl.
Noah and Tiff, by their promises before God and in the presence of this assembly, have joined themselves Mama, I together to my dad. as husband go back and wife. Those whom God has joined together, let With no one bed. separate. And a blessing. Most gracious God, we give you thanks for your tender love in sending Jesus Christ to come among us, to be born of a human mother, and to endure the cross for our sake, that we may have abundant, abundant life. By the power of the Holy Spirit, pour out the abundance of your blessing on Noah and Tiff. Defend them from every enemy. Lead them into all peace. Let your seal of love upon their hearts, a mantle about their shoulders, and a crown upon their heads. Bless them so that their lives together may bear witness to your love. Bless them in their work and in their companionship, in their sleeping and in their waking, in their joys and in their sorrows, in their life and in their death. Finally, in your mercy, bring them to that table where your feast, saints feast forever in your heavenly home. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Let us join together in the prayer our Father taught. Our Father, who, who art, art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Now the blessed and holy Trinity make you strong in faith and love, defend you on every side, and guide you in truth and peace now and forever. Amen. Those people who know me know that one of my traditions is to take a selfie with my wedding couples. <laughs> We're going to do it here because I like, I like the view, yeah. <laughs> and it is now my great pleasure and honor given to me by the state of North Dakota and the Western North Dakota Synod of the Evangelical Lutheran Church in America to present for the first time Mr. and Mrs. Noah and Tiff Knipp. Noah? It didn't rain. It didn't rain. I got the umbrella. Good. Okay, yep. Did you want to do something? Okay, okay. Noah, you may kiss your bride. Hold hands. Moment Hold her hand. You, Hold her hand. There. Go on down. Go on down.